I'm Brian, and I am the co-founder of the Southeast Idaho Paranormal Organization. And I want to welcome you guys in Pokey. We've done this tour three years now, and every year we get the same request. We get the request for Pocatello High to be on the building, because people love this building. So on our first year that we did the tour, we actually went into the auditorium site. So this year, we said, hey, let's come on over to this site. Because this site is very interesting and has a lot of really cool stories. So tonight, we're going to talk about three main stories that have happened in this building. But before we go into those, I want to give you a brief history of the building. The original Pocatell High was built in 1892. And it was a big wood structure and uh, it was a very important building for the West. Not just Pocatello, for this entire area. It was a gathering place. In fact, out here on the lawn, there used to, this kind of used to be off by itself. So they used to have horse races out here. They'd have athletic events, concerts. People would come here to picnic. We even had two presidents come here on their presidential campaigns, Theodore Roosevelt and Woodrow Wilson. Both came here and spoke. Well, unfortunately, in 1914, a fire broke out in the basement and burned down the original Pocatello High. And the original Pocatello High had this big bell tower. And in that bell tower, there was a bell. And that bell, during the fire, fell all the way from the top and went through all of the floors and landed in the basement. And so there's kind of a funny story about that bell. Where is that bell today? Highland. It is at Highland High School. Oh, wait, there you go. Why is it at Highland <laughs> High School? The reason why is because in the early 60s, they started to build Highland High School. And when they finished it, there were some classes that were forced to go there. Uh, because, of course, Pokey was the established school, and there were a lot of students who wanted to finish their high school careers here, and there were students who wanted to come here, but they, were, they had to go to Highland because of the boundaries. Well, in order to give them a sense of continuity and give them a sense that they were part of the tradition of Pokey, the bell was a gift to that first graduating class of Highland High School. So that is the reason why the bell is up there. It was for those first kids that went there and had, didn't get the chance to go here. So this is a really incredible building. It is a building that is very important to Pocatello and in a lot of ways defines the city. The reason why it is such a massive con construct of bricks and mortar and, and concrete is because when the first school burnt down, they built it this way so that it would never burn down again. So that's why it's this, this massive, gigantic building today. Now, there were two major renovations. In 1934, they built the pit and they built the auditorium on the other side, so the gym and the auditorium. And then in 2004 through 2006, uh, they built, they re renovated this, and then they built the new gym over there. And during this time, when they were first thinking about doing this, this weird idea came out that they wanted to shut down Pocatello High. But when this idea got out to the public, there was such an uproar that it got squashed right away. And they said, okay, Pocatello is not going to shut down the school. So they renovated it, it cost around $7 million, and it was very cheap to do compared to building Century High was in millions and millions, while here it was only about $7 million to renovate and do everything they need to do. So it was very cost effective. And so we still have Pokey here today. But this building, of course, has been here a very long time. There's a lot of stories about the people who went to school here, the people who worked here, and that's what we're here to talk about. I'm going to focus on three main stories, like I said. And that's why we're here in the library tonight. I want to focus on one of the more well-known stories. And the story goes like this. Sometime in the past, there was a very young librarian who worked here, and she was in love. And she was going to be married. But unfortunately, her boyfriend all of a sudden left her for another woman. And she was so distraught that she hung herself on the chandelier. 
So after she hung herself, for years and years after, people began to see her apparition in the windows of the library as they drove by an Arthur. And what's very interesting about this is we can go back 30 years and we can find written accounts of people seeing the librarian in the window. I can go on the internet today and go to different sites and there are accounts of people seeing this librarian this year in these windows. So because of the span of time of this story, we feel that maybe there is something to it. Because for 30 years, people have been seeing something in these windows as they drive by. So what I'll allow you guys to do now is if you guys want to walk around, you want to look a little bit here in the library, let's take two or three minutes, not real long. We've got our little mannequin set up back there so you can kind of see what the, where the librarian was standing. But if you want to walk around, just take a look, and then we will meet right out here, and then we'll go to our next area. Thank <clears throat> you.